press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hello friends, welcome to Phoenix Educare. Welcome to the third part of the chapter of Physiography and Drainage. Physiography and Drainage is the third chapter in 10th Maharashtra State Board Geography. So in the third part, we will talk about the, the drainage system in Brazil. So in Bra we will talk about what are the different rivers in Brazil and how are the, how are the characteristics of that river. So uh, as far we have talked about the physiographic divisions of India, physiographic divisions of Brazil. Also, um, I have made a I have made a video on physiographic or sorry drainage system in India. So we have seen there are many rivers in India like Ganga, Yamuna, Indus or Sindhu river. So in this part, we will talk about major rivers in Brazil. See, as far as the drainage system in Brazil is concerned, there are three major rivers. That is Amazon river, Paraguay Parana system or Paraguay Parana, Paraguay Parana river system and then San Francisco river. First, we will talk about Amazon basin. See, river basin ka meaning hota hai, river aur uske jo tributaries, distributaries, sab mila ke jo ek basin banate, ek system banate. That is called as river system. So we will talk about Amazon river, Amazon river basin. Amazon basin, Amazon collects headwaters from eastern slopes of Andes mountain in Peru. So here the Amazon river is starting. So here we are having Peru river, uh, here we are having Peru country. So near Peru there is Andes mountain. So Andes mountain ka jo eastern part hai, is taraf ka jo part hai. Waha se Amazon river start hota hai. To waha se Amazon river ko water milta hai. That part where the river is getting water, that is called as headwater of the river. So headwater of the river is in eastern slopes of Andes mountain. Amazon river is one of the biggest river. It is one of the largest river, uh, largest river in the world. Amazon river receives huge discharge or huge water, sand, sediments th this river is getting. Then this, this is about 2 lakh cubic meters. As a result, Amazon washes off loads supplied to it from the catchment. So this catchment area is where the river starts. There is Amazon sand, sediment, rocks sab carry because there is a lot of water. Hota hai. Consequently, sediments are not deposited even at the mouth. So mouth of the river. Mouth of the river means where the river is meeting the sea. So river ka jo mouth hota hai, jo bade bade rivers hai, like we have, to, we have seen in the fourth part about the Ganga river system. So Ganga river system mein jo Ganga river hai, when the river ke mouth ke paas pohch jata hai, jabhi Bay of Bengal ke paas pohchta hai, wahan delta banata hai, Sundarbar delta banata hai. So whenever river is meeting the sea, then the sand sediments are deposited are deposited at the mouth of the river and there are many islands and delta are found but in amazon we are not finding that that kind of feature also there are no tri distributaries tributaries ka meaning hota hai jo river dusre main river ke andar water add karta hai aur distributary ka meaning hota hai jo river main river se water leke jata hai minus karta hai subtract karta hai so jo bade bade rivers hote hai jab bhi sea ko meet karte hai jab bhi koi ocean ko meet karte hai to end mein wo river ka flow slow ho jata hai River ka flow slow होने के वजह से वहाँ अलग-अलग distributaries बन जाते हैं, छोटे-छोटे rivers बन जाते हैं। But in case of Amazon River, we are not finding that feature. So we are not finding delta region in Amazon, or we are not even finding features of distributaries in Amazon. A dense network of distributaries, which is characteristic feature of river mouth, is by and large absent in the mouth of Amazon. So we are not having distributaries pattern in Amazon River Basin. Instead, we find a series of islands developed along the mouth of Amazon. So here we are having islands. Here the island called is island called as Marajo Island. This is located at the mouth of Amazon. This river ka mouth hai, jahan river Atlantic Ocean ko meet karta hai. Uh, Amazon beyond the uh, instead we find a series of islands beyond uh, developing along the mouth of Amazon beyond the coastline in Atlantic Ocean. It will be interesting to note that at the mouth, the width of Amazon channel is 150 kilometers. So at the mouth, where river C ko meet karta hai, wahan river ka width, wahan river ka jo width hai, it is about 150 kilometers. 150 kilometers is uh, Mumbai or Pune ki beach ka distance bhi 150 kilometers nahi hai, usse kam hai. So imagine how much, is the, how much wide is the river near the mouth of the river. Uh, you will get an idea of if you consider one place that is 150 kilometers far away from your house. So, utna distance hota hai Amazon river ke mouth ke yaha river ka width hai. Most of the course of the river is suitable for navigation. So, most of the course of the river, jaha se river, river flow karta hai. So, wahan hum navigation kar sakte hai. Navigation kaise karenge? Wahan boat se navigation kar sakte hai. So, there are many villages, there are many cities, uh, there are many small towns that are located uh, near the Amazon basin. So, if I have to navigate and travel, then boats, 
or ship are the only source of uh, only source of uh, navigation in that area so here we can see amazon basin so amazon ke jo alag alag tributaries hai distributaries hai so this is the amazon basin it is starting from peru and it is ending in uh, atlantic ocean so major part is in the brazil uh, in the brazil country so here we are having yahan bhi amazon ke kuch kuch tributaries distributaries hai ya yeah, tributaries hai so here uh, in other countries like uh, Uh, here are in the other countries are also we are having amazon basin but major part of the amazon basin is in uh, brazil so amazon brazil basin mein evergreen forest hai tropical evergreen forest hai yahan se tropic of cancer pass hota hai so tropic of cancer ke pass jo bhi uh, tropic of cancer ke pass trap uh, rainfall hota hai that rainfall is uh, continuous rainfall 12 months rainfall hoga to wahan jo forest hai it is dense forest it is evergreen forest so next important river of uh, brazil are Parana River and Paraguay River. This year we are we are we are finding Paraguay and Parana River. So these rivers are uh, started in uh, sorry these rivers are starting in Brazil, but they are not completely flowing in Brazil. कुछ time के बाद ये आप ये दूसरे countries में enter करते हैं या Argentina में enter करते हैं. Paraguay Parana system. These two rivers are located in the southern west part of Brazil. So this is located in the south west southern west part of Brazil. Both the rivers from the catchment of River Plata in Argentina. So, ये जो river है, ये Parana Paraguay River, Parana River, दोनों जाके Argentina में meet करते हैं. And here continuous uh, one more river is coming, that is called as Plata River. So, ये river, Paraguay River and Parana River are acting as a. These rivers are acting as a uh, catchment area of the Plata River. Catchment area मतलब जहाँ से river को पानी मिलता है. तो प्लाटा रिवर को पैरगुए रिवर और पैराना रिवर से पानी मिलता है सो दिस इज द कैचमेंट एरिया ऑफ प्लाटा रिवर इन अर्जेंटीना दिस टू रिवर्स फाइंड उरुग्वे एंड रिवर उरुग्वे इन एक्सट्रीम साउथ ऑफ द आइलैंड कलेक्ट द हेड वाटर्स फ्रॉम सदर्न पोर्शन ऑफ द आइलैंड सो दिस इज उरुग्वे रिवर दिस थ्री रिवर्स आर कलेक्टिंग वाटर फ्रॉम द हाईलैंड यर वी आर हैविंग ब्राजीलियन हाईलैंड तो ये ब्राजीलियन हाईलैंड से इनको वाटर मिलता है ब्राजीलियन हाईलैंड में से जो भी वाटरफॉल्स है वहाँ से इन रिवर्स को वाटर मिलता है सो दिस रिवर्स आर नॉट कम्प्लीटली फ्लोइंग इन ब्राजील दे आर एंटरिंग एंटरिंग इन अदर कंट्रीज So this is about Paraguay and Parana system. Then we are having San Francisco River. San Francisco River is the only river in Brazil that is completely flowing in Brazil. So here we are having San Francisco River. So San Francisco River का आप बात करेंगे तो ये जहाँ Thailand है तो ये north की तरफ जाता है. Then again it is coming to south or in the, in the eastern region. Uh, it is the third important river of Brazil. The entire basin of the river is within the Brazil. So entire basin, entire river basin is within the Brazil. It occupies the eastern position of the island. So, ये जो island है इसका eastern position अब San Francisco River है. It river flows towards the north from the distance about one hundred one thousand kilometers. So, ये north की तरफ one thousand kilometers का distance पार करता है. Then again, it takes a sharp eastward turn to enter the coastal strip along the Atlantic Ocean. So, it is taking sharp turn and it is entering the Atlantic Ocean. ये Atlantic Ocean का जो coastal strip है, it is entering entering here. Uh, The Atlantic Ocean, the river is navigable for the distance of 250 kilometers. So 250 kilometers तक हम river में navigation कर सकते हैं या boat से जा सकते हैं. Then we are having coastal rivers. So if you see here, then there are coastal rivers like Itapecuru River or Parnabia River. So these are the rivers that are meeting the Arabian, uh, sorry, uh, not Atlantic Ocean. Then here we are having uh, river, the some rivers that are meeting the South Atlantic Ocean. So these are the coastal rivers. Brazil has number of short coastal rivers. The coastal area being densely populated, as the as more number of people are living in the densely populated area or coastal area, there these rivers are important. River Parabina and River Itapecuru uh, flow flowing northwards meet the North Atlantic Ocean. So these rivers uh, enters. Uh, there are some rivers that are entering uh, entering South Atlantic Ocean. Collect their headwaters along the escarpment. So these escarpment se ye jo rivers hai ye escarpment se water collect karte. और ये साउथ अटलांटिक ओशन में एंटर करते द रिवर रिवर पुराग्वेको एंटर्स द अटलांटिक ओशन नियर सेलोबाइडर टाउन सो दिस आर द इंपॉर्टेंट रिवर्स ऑफ ब्राजील सो वी हैव सीन थ्री मेन इंपॉर्टेंट रिवर्स ऑफ ब्राजील आर एमेजॉन रिवर पैराग्वे पेराना रिवर बेसिन एंड सैन फ्रांसिस्को रिवर सो दिस आर द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट रिवर्स ऑफ ब्राजील सो इफ यू सी एमेजॉन एमेजॉन इज द वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट रिवर्स और लार्जेस्ट रिवर इन द वर्ल्ड सो इट इज इट इज It is three times more longer than uh, longer than Ganga River. So it is one of the biggest rivers in the world. So this river is uh, having evergreen forest. Also, we have seen Paraguay and Parana River that are starting from the highland region and they are entering Argentina. And we have seen San Francisco River, which is the which is the only river that is flowing entirely in the Brazilian area.
or in the Brazil, uh, in the Brazil country. So hope you have understood this part also. If you have understood, please share the video with your friends and please subscribe to the channel. Also tell your friends to subscribe to the channel and thank you for watching.